Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn with a magnificent Ukrainian folktale, The Mitten by Jan Brett. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone. This is Nikki. Once there was a boy named Nikki. He wanted mittens as white as snow. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. A rabbit came hopping by and wiggled in next to the mole. They're all crowding inside of Nikki's mitten. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded now. Look how big it is. Uh-oh. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. Here comes Mr. Fox. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Oh no, not a bear. Then a bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. There she is. Well, the mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. <gasps> The bear sneezed. All the animals flew out of the mitten. <gasps> Nikki saw his mitten sail up into the air. There it is. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. And Nikki took care of his mittens that Baba made for him and promised not to lose them again. And that's the end of our Ukrainian folktale for today, book buddies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this folktale with everyone. Don't forget to wash your hands and don't forget to wear your mittens when you go outside in the snow. I'll see you next time on Storytime with Miss Evelyn. Bye-bye.